My entire life I've dreamed of opening my own business. So in 2005, when I stumbled upon an ad for a course specifically designed for women entrepreneurs to open their own businesses, I immediately decided to enroll. During the course, I learned how to run a business, deal with clients, publicity and marketing. It gave me the confidence I lacked. In December of five, I decided to open a Moroccan restaurant, and so, with the support and help of my family, we converted our living room into a restaurant. Things were running smoothly for a year and a half. Then came the second Lebanon war. It completely ruined my business. Six months later, I gave up and shut it down. A month later, I got a call from Ayelet, Rakezet Shetach. She came over and convinced me to reopen. She gave me tremendous emotional help and connected me with Shatil and Northern Exposure. They started bringing groups to the restaurant, which gave me the push that I so desperately needed. Shatil is the New Israel Fund's training and empowerment center for social change organizations in Israel. One of the other things that we do is lead proactive work, which means that we identify areas in which there are uh, common agendas for different organizations, and we get them together to work either in coalitions or other interorganizational forums in order to promote uh, common goals and in order to promote a joint agenda. Um, and through this, we try to drum up business in areas where we feel that there is a need for a more macro approach to the work that the organizations are doing. We want to make sure that all populations in Israel have their voices heard, have the accessibility to decision-making processes, and can bring out their voice into uh, influencing the policy and the way that Israel is being, uh, or dealing with its social and economic problems and uh, issues of human rights and religious freedom. Hadassah helps these groups and they help me. Since reopening, I've been doing okay. I still don't have the same volume as before, but I have constant help and support. Donna Marrakesh is an example of a woman who was highly affected by the war, the Second Lebanon War in 2006. Um, but it's not only her own personal story, because it's a combination of the economic situation in the north and in the periphery in general, the opportunities that women who are unemployed and women who have been excluded from economic uh, involvement in the employment work, in the employment world, have uh, had to face in the last few years. And by identifying her abilities, her natural skills, in this case it's cooking, and being able to develop her business in a way that will use her own personal skills, this is what economic empowerment does. The feeling is great, empowering. You feel like you're giving yourself what you deserve. You feel strong. Without the help of Shatil and other groups, I wouldn't have been able to get the business consultants I so desperately need for free. They help me with advice, legal, financial, business, as well as send me to workshops. We cannot run our home businesses without the help of these groups. I'd like to thank them all. With the support of the Hadassah Foundation, and we really feel privileged that the Hadassah Foundation has recognized this unique role of Shatil in building an, an enabling environment for flourishing of economic empowerment initiatives and micro-enterprises. By this, I hope we will be able to create ventures for these micro-enterprises and all the different small businesses to really become reintegrated into the economic world of Israeli society. The women of Hadassah make us stronger. They build up our confidence and in doing so, we feel empowered and are able to raise our families with the respect and love they deserve.